Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create house plans and elevations in Microsoft Excel as per the scale and measurement. Since Excel has a vast workspace as compared to Word and PowerPoint, you can create house plans in varying sizes, whether small or big, that are close to perfect when scaled. Okay, now let us see how to draft this floor plan and its elevations. Now let us make some settings. First, go to the file, click on options, then click on advanced, then scroll down and select centimeters for the ruler units and click on the OK button. Then insert a new worksheet and then reduce the zooming to 60%. I'll explain why. Next, we will be creating this measurement scale using the text boxes because we will be using a scaling method called the verbal scale or statement scale which is a very simple method to scale down huge drawings or maps for simple understanding. This is useful when you want to relate smaller units of measure with larger units of measurements and tell that this small object is a representation of this big real world object. This scaling method is a best option when you want to scale down and fit in large maps or plans in a limited space such as an A4 size paper. Some examples of verbal scale. 1 mm is equal to 1 foot. 1 cm is equal to 1 meter. 1 inch is equal to 1 mile. This simply means that you can use a measurement such as 1 cm to represent 1 meter of real world size. You can search and learn more about verbal scale on Google and YouTube. Ok, now let me show you how to use the verbal scale in Microsoft Excel. We will be using the scale of 1 cm equals 1 foot which actually means that 1 cm on this excel sheet would mean 1 foot of real world measurement. Ok, now let me show you how to create this scale. First, go to the insert, click on text box and draw a text box. Keeping the text box still selected, go to the format, click on align and click on snap to shape. This enables both snap to shape and snap to grid. This option helps you align one shape with another shape. It also helps you snap to the grid lines. So now click inside the text box, type a value such as 1, select it, go to the home tab, set the font size for 20 or so and then click on the center alignment. Then go to the format tab, click on this tiny arrow over here and then click on size and properties and then set the margin to 0. Now you can set the vertical alignment to the middle and then close this dialog box. Now go to the shape outline and click on the black color. Now go to the shape outline again and reduce the line weight to the lowest. Now comes the important part. Enter the height and width as 1 cm. Before doing that, make sure to maintain a particular zoom level. I am using 60%. So now I'll enter 1 cm for both height and width. Now if you increase or decrease the zoom, you can notice that Excel doesn't maintain the consistency in terms of measurement. So you might ask the question, uh, can we use Excel for the purpose of house plan? Of course you can use it, but if you maintain the same zoom level. Now if you zoom it to 60%, you can notice that Excel shows the same exact measurement. So make sure to maintain the zoom level. If you are using 50% while entering the measurement, you use 50% all the time when you enter the measurement. So now all through this example, I am going to use 60% at the time of entering the measurement. That's very important. Next, go to the view tab and turn off the grid lines. You might also want to hide the page breaks. To do that, go to the file, click on options, click on advanced, scroll down to display section and uh, you should find 
show page breaks just uncheck this option and click on the ok button now you will need to duplicate this text box so you can do it by holding the control button on your keyboard and clicking and dragging once after you drag you can just move it and snap it to the previous text box so make sure to snap it exactly on the edge so you can also press the control d key and then align it with the previous text box so there is one more thing you can do that is go to home tab and then click on find and click on this select objects this will get you an arrow uh, using this you can just uh, select multiple items at once and then duplicate all the shapes together so by holding control and clicking and dragging so this fastens the process so now uh, how many squares do we need so this probably depends on the uh, house plan that you are going to create so in our case uh, we don't need more than 30 i suppose uh, so uh, since the floor plan that we are going to create is just 12 feet by 15 feet so we hardly need uh, some so uh, i mean a little bit extra than the measurement so i am going to create at least 30 on the x axis and 30 on the y axis now already we have nine text boxes i'll make one more copy of this so that it becomes 10 in total i'll select all the text boxes and go to the format click on group and group now you should see it is exactly 10 centimeter the grouped text boxes so now i'll make two more copy of this now ungroup all the text boxes and make three more extra copies so you'll ne need to make three more extra copies because here if you observe i have a little bit of margin here and if you need margin you will need to create empty text boxes like this so totally it will be 33 now so let me group and check once again so if anything any measurement issues are there you can ungroup it try aligning it to the top and then group and check so the height wise there is no problem the width it says 33.01 so round this to 33 so now it is exactly 33 centimeters that means 33 boxes so you could see 60 percent the same zoom level now duplicate the entire text box group rotate it by 90 degree so now when you rotate excel has a weird problem it doesn't maintain the same measurement so when you click and select this uh, text box group you could see the width is 33 centimeter so it means that when you rotate it uh, the height should change as 33 centimeter but it's not uh, the same thing here so when you rotate there is a change in the height so what you do is you just type 33 here so uh, this is one more problem identified now uh, you will need to delete the first text box in the group ungroup the gr uh, text box and then delete the first one now se uh, select any one of the text boxes and then regroup it again now you will need to change the text direction so to do that you can click on this smaller arrow here go to the size and properties and then under text box you can change the text direction to 270 degrees so this would change the text direction now you can align this with this one now the next thing is to type the numbers so I'll just delete and leave these three text boxes over here empty and even these two and for all others I'll type the numbers
So far I have typed all the numbers and now the scale is ready. The next thing you want to do is you will need to create the guidelines. To do that go to the insert, click on shapes and click on the line tool. Hold on your shift key and draw a line. Now enter a width of 100 or 150 centimeter. So similarly we are going to create a vertical line and I'll specify the height as 100 centimeter. So always remember that while entering the measurement you are using the same zoom level. So if you want to create the drawings as per the scale you will need to maintain this rule. So if you want to simply create a rough drawing you can do it however you want. Now the next thing is we will need to just start the drawing from this place. So place this guides exactly here like this now let us have a look at the uh, the measurements see this is a small drawing this is a 12 feet by 15 feet uh, house plan and uh, the wall thickness uh, will be 9 inches for the outer wall I mean this uh, outer wall and the compound wall let us uh, assume it as 4.5 inches so now you will need to convert this inch measurement into feet and use that uh, here so now the conversion is very simple so you can use a inch to feet converter so when you convert 9 inches it becomes 0 0.75 feet and when you convert 4.5 inches it would become 0 0.375 so in microsoft excel it would be rounded to 0 0.38 so now keeping these values we will start the drawing so first create the outer wall and the compound wall so i'll take the line hold on the shift key and draw a vertical line of any length now change the color to black and then line weight to the lowest now you can duplicate this line by pressing ctrl D and then select both the lines click on align and click on align top now you can group this now set the width as 0 0.75 so this is for the outer wall now we will be creating the compound wall so the compound wall thickness will be 0 0.375 so it will be rounded to 0 0.38 so now we have both the walls so now what you can do is you can use these walls here so remember that i still uh, am in 60 percent zoom now i'll just copy this line align it with this guideline here now i will increase the height as 15 centimeter which represents 15 feet now i'll duplicate this rotate this for 90 degrees and then i will have to change the width so you might uh, observe that the height is still not switched to the width so what you can do is you can ungroup it and regroup it so now the measurements are switched in correct place so now you can enter the width of 20, 12 centimeter which is 12 feet and then align this with the vertical wall so all through this uh, process the object snap is going to help us align the uh, sh shapes now I'll duplicate this one and bring it towards this side so when you do this you can also hold down the con uh, control and shift keys both so what this will do is it will help you duplicate as well as it will help you constrain in a particular direction so it won't go vertically it will move in horizontal direction now so you can duplicate this as well the hold down the control and shift keys together you can see the object snaps exactly at the end and now we are finished with the uh, outer you know uh, boundaries 
so now let us create this wall this wall is after 8 feet distance so what you can do is you can create a reference shape so create a rectangle of any length or width and uh, change the height to 8 centimeter that is 8 feet remember that you are not changing the zoom level while entering the measurement now you can just align it here so copy this wall and paste it here so you can hold down the control and shift keys now you can delete this um, reference shape and then here you can see the doorway is for three feet so we will need one more reference object so insert a rectangle again and then this time set the width as three centimeter that is three feet now increase the height the height can be anything so uh, make sure that it is uh, big I mean l larger than this distance so uh, we have two doorways here one one over here and one over here and both of them are in, uh, in the center so now uh, we will need to center this doorway to this floor plan so there is a trick to do it what you can do is you can copy this uh, wall somewhere over here and then move this uh, you know reference shape and then select both this and this together and then go to the align and click on center now you can move this both together and then align it to this wall I mean this side or that side of the wall so now automatically this object uh, comes in the center so now you can delete this one next you will need to open up the path here so there is no uh, cutting tools in microsoft excel so what you can do is you can just copy this wall and then simply ungroup it you might you know probably reduce the height of this and then place it here exactly on this edge you can copy this and place it on this one so i don't i didn't set any height for this because that's not important so i'll just make one more copy over here and one more copy over here so next thing what you can do is you can just simply delete this reference shape now you can go to the home tab and then find and then click on select objects now select all of this and ungroup go to the format and ungroup it now what you can do is you can trim all these lines so the trimming process is something like this like say i will just first i will reduce the width of this while doing so you will need to hold on the shift key and you can probably notice that when you move near this line it automatically snaps so first you uh, just reduce the width of this and then you select this line and reduce the height of this so you can see that so you will need to hold on the shift key to constrain it in the same direction so do it on all the sides so all through this process the object snap helps so now we will need to do the same thing over here so don't forget to hold down the shift key on your keyboard that helps and now we will just you know reduce the width of this and touch this and then this one and then this as well 
and this see if your the object snap doesn't seem to work then you can zoom so now you can zoom no problem and because we are not uh, entering any measurement we are simply going uh, going to you know trim this and i mean adjust the lines so now what you can do is you can just copy this on the other side so you can hold down the control and shift keys and then adjust it now copy this line hold down the control and shift keys so all through this process i am using the shift key so you can notice that the line snaps now i'll delete this line this line is not required because here the wall thickness is different so here it is uh, 4.5 inches thick so now i will zoom back to 60 percent i'll copy this wall now and then i'll align it here and i'll also copy this to the other side now you will need to duplicate this and then rotate it 90 degrees and then you can possibly increase the width of this uh, so it is switched so what you can do is you can ungroup and regroup again so now the measurement is back in place now i'll set this for some uh, you know 12 feet 12 feet is enough so now I'll just place it here so while aligning we can zoom like this now what you can do is you can ungroup all these three walls so while select uh, making multiple i mean selecting multiple items you can hold on the shift key and click uh, on other objects and then you can go to ungroup now you can adjust it in a similar fashion as we did before so it's all about increasing and decreasing the height of the lines so you can move the lines and check for any overlapping lines and delete them in a similar way you can trim all the lines over here you can also create the doorway here so hold on the shift key and you know reduce the height of the lines or width of the lines so now in this case it will be the width so we can easily create the walls by increasing decreasing the width of the lines width and height of the lines now you can copy this this side so if anything you know goes uh, uh, i mean uh, if the line is little lengthier you can just hold on the shift key and increase and decrease it back So the floor plan is almost done so now I'll reduce it back to 60% so the next thing 
uh, we need to create is the windows so here you can see that these two windows are two feet and these two are three feet and uh, these two windows are centered uh, to this wall and these two I guess it's one feet away from this and then we will uh, need to create this window frame so the standard size maybe it's uh, 2 inches or 2.5 inches I, uh, I am using 2.5 inches for this tutorial so we will need to convert that 2.5 so it is 0 0.20 so now I will duplicate this line itself duplicate this line and uh, enter the height of 3, 3 cm that is 3 feet I will duplicate this by pressing ctrl D now I will select them both and then I will click on align and align top so now I will group this together now I will set the width as 0 0.2 now you will need to create um, I will duplicate this line itself so I will just rotate this to 90 degree and then reduce the line width to 0 0.75 that is the wall thickness so I will just duplicate this by pressing ctrl D I'll select both the lines and then align left and then I'll group them together now I will increase the height for 3 feet that is 3 centimeter now I will just select these two groups together and then align center and align middle so now our window is created now we will group them together so now you will need to place this wherever you want so one uh, like one thing is like uh, we need two uh, windows vertically like this so I'll just make one more copy of this now the thing is like uh, you will need to center this so what you can do is you can just copy this line for the reference and then you can uh, possibly you can hold down the shift key and press this I mean select these two items together and then format align middle now you can move this you can hold down this window and then move it so you make sure that uh, sorry you can use this one this line and then move it like this so automatically it is centered now we will do the same thing for this as well select these two both and then align middle and then you can bring this over here so sometimes if you don't feel it is not uh, it's a little out then you can hold down the control and arrow keys use the arrow keys to nudge it slightly now you can uh, you know delete this line now I will copy this window rotate this to 90 degree and then I will use this window itself as the reference here I will just make one more copy reduce the you know width um, as one feet so now I will use this itself as a reference I'll keep this here and then I will set the width of this as two feet and then align next to it like this now I'll move this reference this side and then copy this window on the other side so while doing it uh, press ctrl and shift together and then align it now you can delete this reference now the next thing is to create the door steps and also this dotted line that represents the rooftop now uh, I, I suppose the 
you know size of this step is same as the wall thickness so I'll create a rectangle and this is for the height is 0.75 that is the wall thickness and the width is 3 feet and we will need to set no fill and shape outline as this I mean the line thickness to the lowest and then the color uh, needs to be set to black and then you can just move it here and copy this again create one more step now you can uh, you know select everything and you can move it away a little bit so that we can have still more space here to create the rooftop so I'll just bring this a little down here now now the rooftop is all over the floor plan and that is for the distance of these two steps combined together so I will just select both of these steps and then group it together and we will copy this all around the floor plan as a reference and later we can delete it I'll copy two more one on either side this side and that side I'll rotate this by 90 degree copy it here now control and shift and click and drag and to copy or on this side now you can just use these lines I mean create lines on all the sides now I'll duplicate one more over here and duplicate one more rotate it by 90 degree place it I mean align it to this one and then copy it here now you can touch I mean meet these two lines ends of these lines together by increasing the size like this increasing and decreasing while doing that you will need to hold on the shift key now you can delete these references now later you can change the line uh, style as dotted by selecting one by one and going to the format shape outline dashes and I think you can choose this one or this one whichever you think is suitable you can set that one and you can just copy this line style to all of the other three lines by going to the home double clicking on format painter and click on these lines one by one so now at this stage uh, the floor plan is completed now the next thing is to create the elevations so now before that I would like to group all of these together I'll select all go to the format and group and click on group I think I forgot to create the uh, line for the uh, roof edge that is this one over here so what you can do is you can ungroup this again and then duplicate these two lines pull it over here and then you can just go to format align and click on align middle now I will just you know I will move this line a little bit this side so I'll hold on the shift key and move it so I'll make sure that it moves in the same direction now I'll select them both and I will just you know move it here and align it with this one 
now I'll delete this line and apply the same uh, dashed line pattern by using the format painter so I'll regroup this again now now the next thing is uh, the front elevation so the front elevation can be created like this what you can do is you can just uh, you know move this a little down like this and uh, now you can use this guide you can just copy this guide somewhere over here but let us check the height first so the height is 11 feet so first I will copy a guide over here I'll copy this guide I'll hold down control and shift and move it somewhere down here now I will copy another guide on this line so I'll take this reference so we'll get most of the you know references from the floor plan I'll copy another guide this side next I'll copy this guide on this wall as well I'll hold down the control and shift keys I think we will also need to place a guide or on the doorway so we need the, that reference as well so I'll you know copy it here and one more on this wall now so far we got all the references required for the front view so we don't need the references of these windows now the height uh, is 11 feet so I'll just create a reference shape for the height of 11 feet so I'll make sure it is 11 centimeter and also I'm not changing the zoom see it's still 60% while entering the measurement now I'll place this on this line uh, the baseline now uh, let us check what we what is required now so the roof the roof is for 3 feet 6 inches so we will need to know what is 6 inches so 6 inches will be 0 0.5 feet and so that is 3.5 centimeter so now I will just create a rectangle or uh, you, you can create a rectangle or you can use the lines no issues so I'll just create a rectangle so I'll use this as the reference so I'll remove the shape fill and set the outline color to the black and reduce the line weight to this one now I'll simply move this I mean stretch it and increase the height for 3.5 so I'll make sure it properly touches this edge and now I'll delete this one so you can create another rectangle over here that's up to you or you can create individual lines so I will just copy this and then I'll simply align it here and stretch it like this and now the next thing is to create the compound I mean uh, this refers to the compound it's for four feet from the ground so now we will need to create another reference so let me take another rectangle and this is for four feet height so i'll place it here so now we will need to create lines over here so what i'll do is i'll just copy this rectangle itself and then i will align it with this one and stretch it and we will need a 
horizontal line so I will take this and I'll ungroup this I'll rotate this line to 90 degrees and I'll simply move it here I'll align it with this one and I will hold on the shift key and you know resize the line like this now I'll hold on the control and shift key and bring it on the other side now we will need to create the steps so we can get the steps from this floor plan itself so now I will delete all this you know uh, the guides so you can delete the guides it's no, not required anymore so I'll ungroup this uh, floor plan and copy the steps and keep it here so if you have problem with the aligning you you might zoom zoom in and then you know align it and zoom back to the same percentage so i'm using 60 percent so now the front view i think it's completed so now we will need to create the side view the side elevation so let us create the you no know, elevation for the right side so for this what you can do is you can copy this floor plan i'll group it again i'll select everything go to format group and group and then copy the entire floor plan so while doing so hold the control and shift keys and now I will rotate it by you know 90 degree left so the same thing we will need the guides so I'll copy this guide so I'll place it here and copy this guide that side while doing so hold on the control and shift keys so you can take the references from here from the floor plan so I will need the reference for the window and even the rooftop that is this one and sorry I'll make a copy of this uh, guide over here on the edge of the wall and one more over here and over here this small square represents the pole that holds the roof so one more over here and for the steps one and two so we have got all the references from the floor plan here now we can get few references from the front view so I'll copy this one over here so this would get the compound wall and the this one for the top and uh, we also need this one so i guess we almost got everything but let us uh, refer this uh you know the plan so here we will need to uh, create one more reference for this one so this is the back side of i mean rear portion of the rooftop and this is the distance from the ground it is nine feet so you will need to create a reference for that as well so for that i will uh, just simply duplicate this line and then enter height for nine feet and then align this over here 
now you will need to create a line from here i mean starting from here and touching it here and then or you will need to uh, you know touch the line till here so start from here touch it here and end it here so you can take um, there are many ways you can do it you can also use the preform line you can take the preform line start a point here and click here and then click here now press the enter key for the first time you, you may not get it uh, correctly so now once after changing the line style and color you can go to the edit points and then you can you know align it on the exact place so just move it back and forth you'll get the object snap you know help you align the nodes properly so this is done now move this line over here and increase the size of this you can hold on the shift key but you can notice that it is not exactly touching it so this happens because of the you know object snap so what you can do is you can uh, you know turn off the object snap and snap both so now both of them are, are turned off now you can zoom zoom in and uh, you know reduce the height hold on your shift key while doing it so sometimes you will need to turn off the object snap so now turn it on back so now you can duplicate this by holding control and shift over here and we also need two more copies for the window one and two and this one again you can turn off the object snap and then you know there are certain things that are difficult in microsoft excel this is not like other design softwares so it doesn't work the same way here so now i'll turn on the snap again so now we need a you know horizontal line here so i'll just duplicate this one rotate it by 90 degree and then i'll just move it over here align it to this edge and then i will you know stretch this to this end So now um, I think we need to create a line over here. Um, I'll duplicate this and again duplicate this one as well. Now I'll duplicate this horizontal line over here. So you can make sure you're moving it exactly at the same place. Now I think uh, I'll need to refer this okay now fine i'll come back so now i will just reduce this i'll refer this again okay now i think you will need to turn off this snap to shape see only in this condition so if the lines are not perpendicular you will need to turn off this option the snapping option so it doesn't work exactly in that situation so i think yes this needs to be you know reduced okay now we will need a snap again see now we need the snap okay now this snaps exactly now i think uh, we are left with the window so 
uh, yeah oh, we also need to create the steps so I think we can get the references from here you can copy the guidelines get the references and now we got the reference so we can create the steps here so you can use the lines or you know the freeform tool or however you wish so I'll use this line itself I'll just you know snap it here and then I'll create one more line over here snap it and then hold on your shift key while resizing it So you can duplicate this line itself duplicate this line and move it above like this now let us refer back okay so this line is not there okay I will increase the size and touch it here and reduce the size of this one so far we have we are done with uh, these things I think now we, it's time to get rid of uh, the guides so I'll delete these guides that are not necessary so I'll delete all of them except for the windows I'll delete all of them it's a bit confusing to have so many guides okay now uh, um, let us go back and refer so now the window is four feet six inches height and three feet wide so and it is four feet above from the ground so we'll need a reference here so I'll create a shape for four feet four feet height that is four centimeter so now I'll align it here and then I'll copy this line and align it on this and now i'll just move this itself and change the height for 4.5 so already we calculated that six inches will be 0 0.5 so in that context this will be 4.5 centimeter now i'll copy this line over here now you can delete this reference and then also I can delete the guides I don't need any more so now it's time to you know uh, just meet all the ends together like this so hold on your shift key and reduce the width and height of the lines like this I think we are done so if you see some tiny gaps you can adjust it again readjust the lines I think we are done with this so nothing left so you know we can zoom back to 60% now so I'll delete you know sorry I'll just group this together I'll select all I'll go to the format group and group so we are done with the left side uh, sorry right side so uh, since uh, the left and right side are identical you can simply copy this and then you know flip it to get the left side so I'll just copy this hold down control and shift keys and then click and drag now you can simply flip this horizontally now I can delete or you know move this lines away now let me zoom and check whether I'm I've done everything or not 
so now the thing is you will need to move this on this you know move this uh, these drawings with reference to the scale so let me start by you know i'll i'll group this as well i'll go to format group and this i guess it is already grouped now i'll select them both and let me zoom and bring this over here so here so you can use the control and arrow keys to nudge a little so i guess this is not required oh so let us make these things a little bit you know um, uh, symmetrical so i'll just move this over here now uh, we also need to arrange these things one on the left side one on the right side okay now let me do one thing i'll zoom back move sorry i'll select these two items hold down your shift key and move it okay i'll move to this side now the thing is i will need to copy this over here and you know arrange it arrange this one here and arrange these two that side that side now i think i think i can delete these lines these are not required anymore so i'll just bring this here sorry bring this sorry 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 select these two things both together and move it now select these two and you know align it over here now a little more perfection is required now let me zoom and i'll align this exactly over here so you can use control and arrow keys to nudge now i will just make one more copy of this one flip this horizontally and then you can align this over here see i'll, I'll just create one more guide uh, let me say the guide okay let me keep this guide somewhere over here and I'll move this over here so if you want to have a specific gap from this one to this one again you will need to do the same thing you know I'll just place a guide over here and then move these two these two things with reference to the guide so I guess you will need to create more text boxes here and then move these two accordingly. So I created few more text boxes here. Now I'll just copy this, uh, you know, here and then move these here. So all through the process, you will need to hold on the shift key. Now delete all the guides. 
so I'll delete all the guides so we are finished creating the floor plan and elevation so in my next tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this kind of floor plan so don't miss out my future tutorials so I hope that you got an idea about creating the floor plan and elevations in Microsoft Excel and most importantly you also learned how to create the floor plan according to the scale so that's more important so there are many other videos that shows you creating floor plans in a very crude way but they are not exact and perfect so even this is not perfect but it is close to perfect so i hope that this tutorial helps so you can visit my website hbninfotech.com if you want any floor plans you can download it over there so uh, catch you in the next tutorial video and i hope that you will learn how to create this floor plan in the next tutorial video so until then it's bye from hbninfotech.com